What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. I am here with the build video you guys have been asking me about. So what I'm gonna do in this video, man, I'm gonna break down every aspect of my build. I'm gonna break down why I made him, the way I made him, everything, bro. I'm gonna go over his attributes now. I'm gonna go over how I made him into my player builder. Everything you guys wanna know, badges, all of that. So let's get into it. I'm clicking into my player. I'm gonna load into the my career so you guys can see my attributes, my badges, anything else you need to see. I really been wanna bring you guys an updated video anyway because I know a lot of you guys are kind of new to the channel, though, so y'all didn't see that first 60 overall grind video I made. That's where I kind of broke down what I was making this year, explain why I made them the way I made them, and why I kind of strayed away from the athletic finisher build. Because if you're new, then I had an athletic finisher on 2K19. That was my build. That's what I like, and I just prefer you know slashing with big man. I felt like it was really OP, and he was a really good build, man. Really good build. It was hard to put him down, but it was not the same this year. I kind of, like I said, I explained it in that 60 overall grind video why they're not the same. It really comes down to the physical attributes. The physical, the physical were very underwhelming when I first seen what an athletic finisher could be. So, yeah, let's get into this though. Load it in, and I'm gonna show you guys. It's it's always hanging when you load in, man. When you need to check your phone when you first load in, it's just a big hang and a big frame drop every time you step in, but. Yeah, I hit Superstar, as y'all can tell from the last thumbnail I made on my uh, last mixtape that, that I had my shirt off. So, Superstar now, and he boy Superstar too. So, let's go to progression and go to badges first. So, first I have my finisher badges. So, I use Silver Contact Finisher, Bronze Consistent Finisher, and Bronze Slithery. I used to use Gold Contact Finisher and Bronze Slithery, but Gold doesn't really do anything on a guy who doesn't have a super, super duper high uh, standing dunk uh, attribute or driving dunk attribute. My driving dunk attribute is actually pretty high for my position in my uh, pie chart because I made my guy so short. So I had like a plus seven when I made him short compared to what it would have been at seven foot. So my driving dunk is pretty high. But the fact that I'm fast, it really doesn't matter because I'm pretty much far in front of the guy who's defending me. So that, if that makes any sense. And you see four finishing bags, like dang, that's not a lot of finishing bags for a big man. But it doesn't really matter for me. I'm, I'm just a natural finisher. I know how to finish. I know how to get work my way around things. So yeah, those are my finishing badges. So let's go to defensive. Now these defensive badges are always interchangeable. I'm always changing them. I never really stick to them. The only ones that are deadlocked are probably Hall of Fame, Rim Protector, and Gold Box. Now, I don't use anything over gold boss because once you have it on gold and you're a natural rebounder, like your rebounding is in your skill, it's in your power chart, you have a high rebound rating, you're going to get those box out. And I have a, a high strength, a high enough strength to some people don't worm me all the time. And like I said, I got an upgradable box, so that really keeps it from worming me as well. I don't use worm because I always have a good box out position. I, if I fail to get the box out, I don't need a bad belt to get out because I should have the box out anyway. But. Let's move on. I have Purple Intimidator. I call it Purple the Hall of Fame. Amethyst, whatever you want to call it. Polo Stick Hall of Fame. Post Move Lockdown Silver, which I should take off, bro. Post Move Lockdown is probably the worst, the absolute worst defensive badge in this game. It doesn't really do anything. Only reason why I have it on is because of precautionary reasons. Because I have a guy who's like a 99, like, glitched up. Uh, what you call that shit? Uh, Demigod glitch, big man with like Hall of Fame, everything finishing. Then I will get moved around sometime. But after a while, like after that first two shots, they'll get locked up. Cause like I guess the case said, he is a lockdown, so you can't just be forcing things up over him. Cause guys that play with those type of builds, man, all they do is press square it up and do a drop step and just force it up. Like that, that takes no skill whatsoever. So I thought the post move lockdown would kind of cancel that out. And you're probably saying it's only on silver, but it used to be on gold and sometimes even Hall of Fame. But it doesn't do anything, so I always drop it down a bit. And I use gold moving trucks. Those are my defensive badges. Like I said, guys, I don't recommend post move lockdown at all. That badge sucks. So let's move on. Playmaking, I have one bronze. I only have one playmaking badge. I really don't care about playmaking badges either. Because like I said, player is naturally fast, but he moves fast with the ball and he's able to get himself open. And I'm a naturally good passer, so I don't need anything helping me with pass. I'm not going to be down there in the post because I'm always on the perimeter because I'm mad to shoot by truck glass and lockdown. So I'm not doing anything in the paint. So I don't need any of that post stuff. Or bail out or anything, I don't pass out of the shot. But so I use brainstorm and I use that. Use, uh, excuse me, what the hell am I saying? I usually use that for the wreck, but I be forgetting to change it out when I was in part. When I do think to change out, I change the quick first step. Cause quick first steps help me blow by guys. Being fast and blowing by with the bronze quick first step, it really uh, makes a difference. 
So let's get into shooting. It's probably what you guys really want to see with one of my shooting badges. All right, deadlocks are catch and shoot Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame has on under gold range extender. Now I do change the green machine down to probably gold sometimes. We can make that silver that out. We need to get myself bronze corner specialist. I used to use corner specialist on Hall of Fame because like when the game first came out, I was wide butt naked open in the corner, literally every possession. That's the only reason why I use a Hall of Fame corner specialist. But the guys at I think 2K Labs, whatever you call them, said that it, it worked best on silver and it really doesn't do anything past the silver the silver level. So I stopped using it just period because now I'm just good able to shoot from anywhere regardless of the badges. So corner specialist, it does work. Like I can't, I'm not gonna say it doesn't work. I, like I said, I used to use it on Hall of Fame. It does work. It does give you a, a good boost in the uh, in the corner, but I don't use it anymore. Green machine, very good. Bronze quick draw. I get my shot off fast enough, bro. I get myself open. I'm a fast big man. Big men are very slow this year. Very, very slow. In the beginning of the year, they did kind of, they, they had to get that nerve first. But after that nerf or they, on their speed, they're very slow. It's very hard for them to keep up with me. I got a very high speed, which I'm about to get into. I'm about to get into all my attributes. All right, so first I'm going to start this off by mentioning what I messed up from the build in my demo. When I met, because I was supposed to remake this build, but I was so eager to, to get this down and to start my grind because I had, I didn't download the game like that night. So I had to wait another day before I played. And I was so eager that I accidentally clicked onto this build, which was the wrong build. And my new build was the fixed build. See, my block is very, very low for my uh, for my build. It's supposed to be like a 90 something at 99. But this player, I accidentally put that on like ball handling or something. I did, I did something weird. And I had started with this player and I didn't want to start over. I had already earned like a lot of badges. And I said, fuck it, I'll just roll with it. So that's why I messed up it. Which you guys could have been reading like all of my attributes while I was just talking right there. The most important things though are my physicals. And I'm gonna compare that when I go to the my player builder and show you why I didn't make him any other way compared to the 610 weight. Well, 610, 239. His weight is 39, and he's 610. All right, 77 speed, man. That is very, very OP. My speed is almost at 84 center, a defending rebounding center at that. 71 acceleration, 90 strength. That is very good for a shooting defensive rebounding uh, uh, build, whatever you want to call it. 69 vertical. All right, so let me explain this about vertical. I'm going to explain it more later on in the video when I show you guys gameplay and why it matters and stuff like that. I can't really find that good of gameplay because I don't save rebound. And rebound is not a highlight play to me. It's very, it's very normal to me. I don't, like, those snag animation doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't look that cool or that pretty to me. So I don't really save anything dealing with rebounding. I save steals and stuff like that. I save blocks. Of it. And if a rebound comes up the block, then it might be in my clip. But mainly most of my clips are just me shooting a bunch of threes and blocks and stuff like that. So... It's gonna be hard to find the clips to show you guys that I do out rebound most centers because people say like, do you out rebound centers? I still get the same rebound and stuff even after I made something with Glassman. And my whole thing last year was that uh, I was talking so much shit about Glassman and I wasn't Glassman that they would out rebound me and I'm a power forward. Because you know? I was a power forward pre athletic like finisher on 2K19, but I out rebounded and I played center most of the time. When I went to anything five, like five and five, I was the center. If I played at the park, I was the three. And I out-rebounded pretty much everybody I played against, no matter what the build was. And so, what made me so good of a rebounder in 2K19 is obviously skill and box out. But, what put me over those guys like Glasgow with the the overall that was way higher than mine, and the ratings that were way higher than mine, was the vertical. The vertical was very important. My vertical on 2K19 was like an 82. But, new game, new attributes and stuff. New, it's just different. So, 69 is probably the highest you would get on a big man. No matter what they are, unless you can make like a six nine finisher or something like that, but they won't have the rating to go with it. They will, all their rating will be on finisher. But sixty nine, way higher than that. I'm gonna go to the the my player builder right now so I can re replicate the build real quick, and you will see what I'm talking about. So I should have fast forward this part in the video as long as you guys like going through these loading screens and shit. But I guess I'll just chop it up with y'all while it's loading. I know y'all see me wearing black. We call these old dogs where I'm from, you know, from Minnesota Society, old dog. Used to wear the white one all the time, but I think I see me wearing these black tank tops all the time. I promise you it's not the same one. This is actually a noticeable one because it's, the, I think this side is like shorter than the, the other side, dog. So if you go back and look at my last video, I'll go right there and you'll see that it was actually even. So it's not the same one. I wear a different ones all the time. I just like wearing like tank tops. I'm about to bust out of this thing, actually, man. It's too small. But uh, it's just loading in. So I'm going to go to my player builder. And I actually replicated this build last night. Go to edit. Oh, I can't see the second thing. 
how you go to edit. And uh, I'm gonna show you at, all right, so the skills right now are when he was at seven foot, not skills, attributes, whatever you wanna call it. I always say stats, skills, and attributes. Whenever I say skills, stats, and attributes, I mean attributes. So yeah, just clearing that up because I'm always mixing them up and saying different things when I'm meaning the same thing. But, all right, so where I messed up at, all right, I have it right on this dude. I could have had 87 blocks, so a plus five, I think a plus four, plus five, would have made that a 91 block, so having a, a even below 87, 84 block. So uh, sometimes I boost my block just to make it to where it was, it's respectable. But it's supposed to be way higher than that, and I'm supposed to have two extra defensive badges instead of the 20 that I ended up with, and I'm supposed to have one extra finishing badge, too. So, as you can tell, I messed the build up. But this is the build, man. Well, I'm just gonna keep on just going up and down, let you guys see. Read off the stats real quick, cause I, I could just go down reading everything out, but I'm just gonna give you top guys time to read over it. So let me move on. This is him at seven foot. Well, it really threw me. I have two attribute points right now. What really threw me off though. The reason why I made him so small, like I said, 51 vertical dog, 52 acceleration, 59 speed. I don't like playing with slow players. I don't care if they're big man or not. I don't like playing with anybody who's like slow, not nimble enough to guard the perimeter. Cause I get in those switch situations all the time. I switch with my players, my uh, my friends on the uh, when we're playing defense, and if I can't guard the the guards, then we will lose a lot of games. Because when guard when big man like big man, like I said, I mean I mentioned earlier, bro, they are slow. When they switch to my friends. In the park, man, they do them dirty. My friends do them dirty. Like, as soon as they switch to them, bro, they get sham God and, and blew by so fast. The perimeter defense makes a difference this year. They gave perimeter defense to the guards and literally took that away from the big man. You can't really keep up with those guys around the perimeter unless you have a small big man who can keep up with them. All right, so let's push X. All right, one thing, another thing I missed. I should have made him the big body type because that kind of does make a difference. Your player takes up, takes up way more space when he has the bigger body, which is obvious. I don't know why I didn't do that. But I made him compact because I try to make it look realistic. I try to make it look like myself. I'm a very like lean guy. So I try to make it look like me. So that's the stuff at seven foot. We dropped down at six ten. Well, I was I was just I, I loved it when it when we dropped down at six ten. You got a plus seven on steel, plus eight on lateral quickness, plus six on perimeter defense, plus three on ball handling, plus one on pass accuracy, plus three on your three point shot. Very good. Plus three on the mid range. Plus seven on driving dunk too. I really like that too. And then your speed and everything goes up so much. Like look at how much that fluctuates when you drop down to 6'10". And I play with small centers my entire time playing 2K, so it's not a big drop off for me, bro. My 6'10", my 6'11", was, my uh, athletic finish was 6'11 last year. I'm like, what is one inch gonna matter? I'm like, Anthony, Anthony Davis is 6'10". I start, it's I always kind of ignorant to compare like, video games to real life, but I was like, man, Anthony Davis holds his own pretty good at power forward and center in the NBA, and he's 6'10". He has a very long reach, which I do have. I do have a very long reach for real life. I have, like, Giannis Antetokounmpo on arm. So, I didn't make this player a little long reach. I made my uh, athletic finish a little long reach. I don't know why I made his... I actually put his weight down, as I can see. I think it was, yeah, just going one down, make sure acceleration go up one. So, I have a plus one acceleration on my, good player, on my player that I have. All right, so you go down one on that. That's why I, this is my wings, man. I just went down one. Right, it's not even a default. It doesn't make any difference. What I thought about was, I was the whole, whole time they was hyping 2K20, they was talking about like new block animations. I'm like, hmm, they have block animation. Having a long wingspan won't even matter because you would have the badges. The badges would trigger the animations, so you don't need the wing. You don't need the wingspan anymore because last year, if you watched my 2K, my 2K19 athletic finisher mix things, I got those big like block animations from vertical and wingspan just being able to reach the ball but now you're sucking players in with animation that it doesn't even matter if you have that uh that reach or anything so i thought about that so boom i'm gonna stop this real quick and i'm gonna uh go into the game i gotta find a gameplay where i'm gonna explain more about his vertical and why it matters more about my shooting badges and how i'm why i made him like i made him in the, the floor spacing aspect which is so important with this build so i'm gonna go to that real quick i gotta find the clips i have so many different clips and it's hard to find them sometimes so we gonna go to that so that's pretty much my build and i will see you guys in a few seconds all right i'm back and i found some video clips of me rebounding as you guys can see when he kd misses this shot all right what makes me get those animations right there those very high attitude rebound animations is my vertical man my vertical really helps me out with jumping 
Now, like I said before, I went and found these clips. I don't really save rebounds. I don't see rebounds as a highlight player or anything like that. So I don't save them. I mainly save my green light animations and and uh, dunks and alley oops and stuff like of that nature. But I don't really save uh, rebounds because like, rebounds are normal. I get about four or five a game, and it's just normal to me. I don't really think you guys. Well, if you guys want to see me put rebound animations in my mixtapes and stuff like that, nah, I will. But I don't really see them in highlight play. But job, this game really solidified that I had made the right build. I got, I was getting up there. I was boxing out. I was rebounding. And so I'm gonna go to this next game. This game, I think I was playing against another 99 class, kind of a lot like myself. And it's just going to be more of the same, bro. Like, my style doesn't matter. I'm still going to be able to box him out. I'm still going to be able to rebound. I'm still going to be able to defend. I'm still a center. I am actually a center this year. Like, I was a power forward last year doing this stuff. But I, I'm a center. Like, so, I'm going to do center things regardless of my height and my weight. Now, if I made him just super skinny or super, super short, like 6'9 or something like that, then maybe. But I'm not going to say that for body wall. Like, it doesn't have disadvantages sometimes. Being shorter than somebody is going to always come with some type of disadvantage. But if you play to your strengths, the advantage is highly outweigh the disadvantage, bro. 77 speed is ridiculous in the fast break. Whenever, but I don't really go out on the fast break that much because I'm playing with Shrek and and they both slashes, so they always have the lead. And the reason why, that's another reason why I don't save my rebounds and stuff like that because it's so uneventful. Like I just get a rebound, I just kick it out the gym like every single time, so nothing really like happens. So, like, I'm pretending to me, so it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, like I was saying though, but on the fast break things, when they're not clearing out or they're not, not well, excuse me, clearing out and not breaking on the fast break, I literally burn my defender every time. But here is the direct. Direct, I, I, I felt like I'm gonna give you guys more of a good, you know, viewpoint of what it looks like playing with an undersized center. I think this guy's like six, seven foot, 99, uh, glass can lie down just like myself. And as you see from the first uh, jump uh, animation I get, it's a very high altitude one, bro. All because of my vertical, bro. And I do have a, I still have an 89 rebounder rating. Like, my rebounder rating isn't low. That's why I think that the uh, the green and uh, red pie chart for centers is the best one, bro. That's the best pie chart you can possibly get with centers because you can pretty much do anything. And then making my dude short and up in his physical attributes makes him more of a versatile player. Because if I was just big, sluggish, and slow, and I only could shoot at a subpar rate, I would be wasting my uh, my other skills. Because I lowered them to be able to shoot. But if I can't shoot like just at a high, high level with like a 70 something, then there would be no point of being able to shoot. That's the reason why I made him. That's not reason I made him shorter because he got more shooting badges and he uh could shoot like. The, the rating went up and I made his wingspan like 0.9 lower so that made him shoot more threes better and stuff like that but then I'm just down there just playing good D, rebounding and stuff like I said it was hard to find some good clips man I have so many clips man so much mulling I have to do so much uh erasing and stuff like that but this is just living me at each space in the floor they do the same thing they do in the park they just don't go right up but man, let me close to the end of the video, man. Is there anything else I left out about this build that you guys want to know about? Then y'all, please hit me up. I can make another video. I can make any type of video you guys want to see. But like I said, it's getting close to the end, though, man. And I'm, I'm out here, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm going to be coming to, to y'all with another mixtape very, very soon. It's going to be dropping very soon. I got a lot of good stuff coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Love y'all. Peace.